Hello and welcome to episode 12.2 of my playthrough of Dragon's Dogma. This is your friend Conservative Cat, and today we're doing another catch-up video. Uh, to start, we need some potent green warish. Um, we also need some sour ambrosial meat. We also need a pilgrim's charm. And lastly, we need another lantern. This is because we are doing Farewell Valmiro. And we can find him overlooking the beach in Cassardus. Ah, I hope to see you this day, cousin. I have aught I would tell you. I have chosen to forego the fishing life, so I might travel the land and study its wonders. As such, I had hoped you might assist in preparations for my journey. But I truly will always be in your debt, cousin. For all else, I must provision myself for the trek. I need goods that restore energy. Something to speed my steps when exhaustion creeps round. Might you find me some such healing items? You can do this entire quest without leaving him. Um, as long as you have all the inventory. Perfect. These should keep me from getting into too much trouble. Now, what's next? What's next? Ah, yes, of course. Some source of light. My travels will most like take me to caves and other dark places, you know. How could I forget? Many thanks. I needn't fear any darkness with this at my side. Is there else I require? Uh, ah, food, of course. It's not that I'm picky, Anna. I just don't know what's fit to eat other than fish. Might you find something I can bring, cuz? Okay, this is the hardest one. S Ambrosial meat is pretty rare. You can find it in the quarry where we did mazes and monsters, which I'm showing over there in the corner. Um, let it sour for a few days and then bring it to them. Uh, this and the pilgrim's charm, which you can buy, are the hardest items to get. This should be food enough. My thanks, cousin. That should take care of the essentials. But might I beg one final request? A good luck charm to guide me on the roads. I can't always depend on you, after all. Ill fortune will doubtless visit my journey at some point. A good luck charm would steady my resolve. Aha! Yes! It's perfect! This should be all. I believe I finally have everything I need to set off. Hmm, this is more baggage than I imagined. I had planned to pack sparingly, but uh, see now that proper caution cannot be taken lightly. Beg forgive me, Kaz, but one more favor. Would I trouble you to take my things to the shore? It's highly recommended you have a full party of pawns for this, um, because the pawns will help you carry the entire load. There's four of them, and... Uh, Fortunately, it's a very short jog. Just hop down the cliff face here. You won't take any damage. And bring it over to where Valmiro's boat is. Um, if you do not have all a full party of pawns, obviously you'll have to make do. But the pawns will automatically help out when they can. Uh, once you get near... Well, that's your fault, Mira. Once you get near the boat, um, you'll automatically get a cutscene. Fantastic. That is well, and truly everything. I have stolen too much of your time, and yet can only give thanks in return. Please, cuz, join me in a drink as thanks for your kindness. You must think me mad to set off in the name of research, but with the dragon so near at hand. What's a fisherman gain from the study of plant and beast in the first place, huh? In truth, I have no proper answer. I simply find such things enjoyable. I don't want to merely dream of the outside world. I must see it with my own eyes, uncover its mysteries. The journey will not be easy, I'm sure. It would be a lie to say I do not fear the dangers ahead. But if not now, when? 
we are alike, you and I. Two simple folk thrust into a grand adventure far beyond themselves. I'll not slay a dragon, of course, but with the Maker's grace, I might yet aid folk in my own way. Dawn is breaking. I'd best be off. When we return from our quest, I would be honored to share a cup with you again. At this point, Valmiro leaves the game and you have completed Farewell Valmiro. Thank you for watching and have a good day.